Hello guys, my name is Shalin and in this video we are going to talk about an AI based traffic management system. Before we start the video, let me give you a brief introduction about myself. I am currently a final year student of LD College of Engineering. This video is part of our final year presentation. This project is made by me along with two of my colleagues. As you can see their names are listed on the screen. Before we talk about the system, let us first define the problem. Now, we must all have passed through the traffic junctions at crossroads. We know that the timers there are set statically irrespective of the number of vehicles waiting at the crossroad. There will be an increase in traffic at the junctions when the side having more vehicles will be given less amount of time to pass and vice versa. Hence, a possible solution to this problem could be to set timers according to the number of vehicles waiting at the crossroad. This will remarkably reduce the traffic congestion at the junctions. So we will need an AI based traffic management system. Before showing you how the main functionality of traffic surveillance is achieved by our project, let me first guide you to depict the additional features which our web portal possess. Depending upon the login credentials entered, user or admin side dashboard will open. We will first look at the user side dashboard. Dashboard will contain all the videos uploaded by the user along with the detection files. They will be arranged according to their area, crossroad and camera from where they have been uploaded. Users can upload video with the help of link given in the menu. They can also view those videos by clicking on the view link. As you can see this. We shall talk about this detect in the later part of the video. If the user has any complaint, he can even sort that out. He can view the attachments which he has sent and also the status of the complaint whether it is replied or pending. If replied, he can also view the reply sent by the administrator. He can even delete the unwanted complaints. Also there is an additional feature of feedback if the user wants to send feedback regarding a particular service. That's all related to the user side of the portal. Now let us look at the admin side. Administrator will be able to view videos of all the users unlike user who can view or detect only his own videos. We have divided regions with respect to the traffic police stations. It shall be the responsibility of traffic police users at these stations to upload and detect videos in their region. There is a one to one relationship between an area and a traffic police station. An area is divided into various crossroads. For example, area Alice Bridge has crossroads Law Garden as well as Panchwati. At each of these crossroads, there will be cameras to capture traffic surveillance videos. Each camera is given a camera code. Administrators will be able to view videos of all users as well as their detections. 
data set will be used to train the machine. With the help of manage complaint, admin will be able to view and reply to complaints. As you can see the complaint which we posted about inefficiency has been received. He can reply to those complaints just by clicking on the reply link. He can also manage the feedbacks. As you can see the feedback which we sent has also been received. That's all about the admin side portal. Now let us look at how the main functionality of traffic surveillance can be achieved. First of all, administrator will have to add a user so that he can upload and detect the videos. Let us consider the user to be Alice Bridge Police Station. As soon as the user is added, login credentials will be sent to his mail id. You can see that the user is added. You can also see that he has received his password with which he will be able to log in. Now he can upload the video on which he want to perform the detection. Let us perform the detection on this traffic video. You can see that the video is being uploaded. Before performing detection, let me first show you the video. As you can see this is the video which we want to be detected. Let me click on the detect button so that the process of detection can be started. As you can see the detection has been started. There are a total of 1847 frames in the video. Each frame shall be analyzed to detect the presence of vehicles. Coming to object detection in deep learning, there are primarily three types of object detectors. RCNN, single shot detectors which are commonly referred as SSDs and YOLO object detector. RCNNs are very accurate but they are painfully very slow. SSDs as well as YOLO are little less accurate but they are very faster. In this project I have used YOLO object detector. Analyzing 1847 frames will take a lot of time, hence I have fast forwarded this video. As you can see our detection is wrapping up. You can see that the last frame contains 25 cars and 5 motorbikes. Here we have assumed that the truck to pass shall take 1.5 seconds, bus will take the same amount of time, a car as well as motorbike will take 1.2 and 0.9 seconds respectively. This time will change according to the crossroads. You can see that a mail containing the amount of time to be set will automatically be sent to the user. It shall be the duty of user to set this time at the crossroad. This time is based on the last frame of the video. You can also view the video by clicking on the view button. As you can see that the video is being downloaded. Let us open this video. You can see how the detections are being made by the model. If I pause it, you can see the bounding boxes around these objects along with the label of car or motorbike. 
होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द वीडियो गाइज थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग इट